Yesterday we began a sugya having two chatseros side by side. We you up to? I'm sorry. We're up to Ayin Zayin Amid Beis. Mesech the Erevin. And we'll be discussing two people and two chatseros, right? Where they it can be mishtatif if they have a wall between them. So we said if the wall is 10 tfachim high, that's it. 10 tfachim high separates you. If it's four tfachim wide, then we had an additional, we had the usage on top of the wall. Nothing to do with a chatzar. If it's 10 by four, it's a separate independent rishos. 10 by four, we know is rishos ayachet. And you can't go from rishos ayachet, the chatzar, to another rishos ayachet. So we said, therefore, if anything's on top of the wall, they have to keep it on top of the wall. But to bring something up or bring that thing down, that they couldn't do. That's again, if it's what? If it's, if it's four wide, because 10 by four, it's its own rishos. Today we're going to be discussing uh, using the wall if it's a Pesach. Now, if it's a Pesach, then it's considered an opening and you have the option of keeping separate Rishoyos or combining the two. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. Just to, to reiterate some of the, the, the interesting, interesting uh, pictures we saw yesterday to kind of set the tone. We left, that's what we left off with, right? We left off with this picture, but... Some some of the stuff we had, I don't know what I just did. I just knocked it out. What did I do? Yeah. So we saw yesterday, we saw yesterday, um, I don't know. Yesterday, right, for example, if it, it has to be, remember, it has to be four, because what four does, it makes it a Pesach. It's got to be four wide and at least 10 high. So over here, if it's 10 by four, this is four. This is, we, we said you can go across. That's when it's, if it's not four, if it's less, they have to be within three to each other. Now, when it's in three to each other, this guy's is a Pesach. I can go up here and go down here. In this scenario, they would be able to make a, a, a communal chatzar, a communal eruv. They would be able to make a communal eruv over here. And that's some of the things we're discussing, Bez Hashem. And to, it's a continuation of, of last night. There's it's that bar, there's this death case. And today we're going to get to, to this, this case over here. So let's let's begin. We're on, we're beginning, we're on Ayin Zion, Amid Bey is the bottom line. Bom Rav Nachman, Amar Rav Baravua, Amid Aleph, Ziz Hayetzim in Akoisel. Take a look. You have a little platform going out of a wall. Dalit al Dalit. So you have the share of Dalit. This does not have, not, not have to be Dalit. Once this is Dalit, this, the ladder doesn't have to be Dalit. But since this is elevated, I need, it's not within three Amis, a three Tvachim of the floor, not three Tvachim of the floor. I need something to give it connectivity to connect it to the floor. The fact that I have a, a, a ladder over here and the rungs are which in three, so we'll view this as the connected to the four. This is the four. This will be a viable Pesach, fellas. And if on the other side you have a Pesach, you will be able to make an Erev together. And you put a Sulam. Why don't we say love it? Why don't we say love it from, the, from that platform that extends out to the floor? Because it's, you it's don't more than ladder. three. It's more than three, right? All right. Usually people raise their hands, you know, like usually people raise their hands. I just interrupt. That's, that's my style. Uh, okay, I'll give you the, you know, senior citizen prerogative. <laughs> now, so you have a, the sulam goes ahead, miyata, then it's mimayata from the wall. You know, it's, it's a miyata, it's considered a miyata in the wall, and you can use the top of the wall. Le'amorin el de oisve aloha, only if you put it over here. If you put it on the side of the wall, then basically all you're doing is extending the four. Look at Rashi. You're extending the ziz. In other words, if I didn't have this, this ladder, I had the ziz and this ladder, you have nothing. Because since it's it's not connected to here, it's just you just what you basically did, guys. 
you took the ledge and you extended it, but you have no connectivity to the floor because it's not touching the ledge. It's considered, this ladder, if it's close by, is considered an extension of the ledge without anything underneath. Okay, you have a wall that's 19 high. So if you put a four in the middle over here and you have a ladder going here at this point, so it'll be a miyot. You need one ziz to matter it, only one over here. That's one, one ziz to, to matter it. That's when the koisel is that. However, koisel esrim, if the koisel is 20, 20 high, if the koisel is 20 high, sarach shnei zizim. You're going to need two zizim, one over here and one over here. And amrav chista vusha in midu zeh shalai neged zeh. In other words, if the ladder is, 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 it's much more functional if you go over here to here rather than one. It seems to be a, a, a question of function, according to Rashi. It seems to be functionality. And therefore, in this case, in order to be mamayat, you would need two zizim rather than one. Now, we know 10 by 4 is a Rishus Hayachid. Because I could use the tap. Now, how can I mess this up? Look at the following case. Amar Afuna, Amid Rishus Arabim. You have an Amid Rishus Arabim. Givo Asara Varachim Arba. So now you have a classic Rishus Ayachid. Benoyetz Bayeset Kol Shehu, and you put a Yeset Kol Shehu on tap. Miatoi. It's going to be Memayet. It's going to go ahead and ruin it. It's going to it's going to go ahead and ruin it because you can't use it. That's the, that's the opinion of, of Rav Ada Barava. It doesn't have any shtamshus over here. What's the reason? It's what my, what's the reason that it's it's memayit? Am Rav Ada Barava ubegoy v'shleisha, provided it's high three, provided it, the I guess the said has to be what high three. Abay Rabbi Mitzrayim, Afa Pishen Gavoy v'shleisha. Even if it's not high three, it's also going to ruin it. My timer. You can't use it. Since you can't use it, it loses its... It, it, it's mevatel the Rishus, guys. Look at Rashi. Parallel to where we're up to now. Rishus ha-yachid hu. Amir ha-gvoy ha-sara Rishus ha-rabim brach dalal. If it's 10 by 4, Rishus ha-yachid hu. It's Rishus ha-yachid. V'anoytul mimenu v'anoysin al-gab v'chayim. If you take from it and put it down Rishus ha-rabim or vice versa, y'chay v'chatas. This is like Tzor de-raisa. V'anoyz b'roish ha-yesed kol shehu. However, if you put uh, on top a uh, nail, miat toy la roch boy me arba. It miat toy, guys, this, oh, forget the hat hanging here. This makes it not four anymore. This makes it not four anymore. And it's mevato, as Rashi says, fellas. So, shumivi la roch boy me arba, u bit la mi torish rishos hayachid. And now it's mevato from being rishos hayachid. So that's the opinion of Ravada Barava. And he said, however, it's got to be at least three high. But if it's not three high, then we'll say it's then it's considered part of the part of the amun. If, in other words, three is we'll say love and we'll make it part part of it. On that, a bayavarava they disagree and they say the whole reason, the whole reason that the purpose of this is not to, the ability to use it. So who cares if it's three? Who cares if it's two? Who cares if it's one? It's taking away. It's not a flat surface anymore. I can't use it for anything. So since I can't use it for anything, it loses its bittel, Torah of Mishra On that, guys, Rav Ashi Yomar, Afilu Shlesha, the opposite. Even if it's three high, it's still a Mishra Why? My timer? Efshe the Talib Amidi. It's possible to put something on top of it. So therefore, in order, in order, <coughs> Rashi says, after the Talib Amidi, the Kivan, the Chazi, the Tashmishe, the Omid Minei, Chashiv, the So quite beautifully, it's a, you have three different Shatam over here, three different Shatam. So we're dealing with an Omid that's 10 by 4, and it that's a classic Rosh Hashayachid. Put a nail in. Now we get into Lamdis. Ravad Barava, if the nail is higher than three, 
then it's no longer Rishus Hayachid. Says Abayi Varava, if, if, even if it's lower than three, even if it's lower than three, it's still it's still mavatel v'shem rishus hayachid because you can't use it for anything because the purpose of, of a separate rishus is usage. Says Rav Ashi, even if it's higher even if it's higher than three or lower than three, it doesn't make a difference since you can put your hat on there. It's still royal ishtamish and therefore it has the din of rishus hayachid and therefore you'll be chayiv if you go from here to here. Guys, you good with that? We're good? Not, not, not difficult tomorrow. Okay, now, next case. Amalei Rav Rav Acha Berei Derava L'Rav Ashi Molo Kula B'Yisei Desmahu What happens if you go ahead and you fill up the whole thing when you say that? You put a whole bunch of pegs there. Not one, you put a whole bunch. So Amalei but you didn't hear what Rabbi Yechonon said. You didn't hear what, what Rabbi Yechonon... Now, why did, did Rabbi Yechonon say? Right? Why did Rabbi Yechonon say? Here you have a bar. You dug it out. The Chulius. Okay? Now, you need... The pit and this are going to be considered one. Right? The pit and this are going to be considered one. Now let's see. What does the pit have to do with this case? Okay? What does the pit have to do with this case? So let me just close it so I can see you. <laughs> Says the Gemara. So we have a Shiloh. If you have a bunch of Yaseidas on top of that beam, on the top of the pillar, what's the din? So he said, you mean you didn't hear what Rabbi Yochanan said regarding the bar and the Chulyasai? And the lip of the bar that's filled with sand that you dug it out, bar v'chuliyaslim it's tarf lasara v'amai haloy mishtamishle you can't use it. So if you're telling me in order to be shusayachid it needs a shtamshus, you have a pit. What could you use it for? Elamayis cholameimar. It must be that what the monach midi. It must be they went ahead and they put something across the pit. It must be they, they put something there, right? They they put some they they put something there. They put something here, picture 37. They put something across the pit and they're able to use it. And since it's 10 by 4, since it's 10 by 4, you put something there, it has usage. The male are very good schmack guys. You have a bunch of you say this over here. You put a little platform over here. That's the width of here, which is four, and you use it. And therefore, you would get what? Well, it's not mevatel the same rishus ayachid. It still would blive rishus ayachid, and that's the two shtel between the bar and the case of the you say this. Good. Says the Gemara Vayta. Hachanami the monach midi here too as well by the you say this the nails monach midi. You put something there mishtamish. I'm going to view the Mishmol. Koisla Sara. Okay, again, this is this is really a. I should just keep it open. Just to. Yeah. You have a wall, 10 fucking high. How long does that ladder have to be? Now, the ladder can't be t- straight up because you can't, if you. Try putting a ladder straight against the wall, you're gonna end up in, on your back, correct? So you have to have an incline. So obviously the ladder has to be longer than what than the wall. And the assumption is that the ladder has, has to hit the top of the wall according to this opinion. So Amra Vyuda Mishmuel, Kaisal Asara, Salah Sulam Arba Eser. You need 14 Lahatiroi. Where's the 14, guys? That's the Aleph, right? Ten and four for the Put in, inclining it out. You see it? Here's your four, and here's your ten. That's a, that's fourteen. Rabbi Yosef Amar, I feel shloisha esrei yamashahu. Even in other words, even if it's shloisha esrei yamashahu, you don't need to reach the top. Heels, you don't have to reach the top. Once you don't have to reach the top, so it can be thirteen and yamashahu. That's the that's the second opinion. Abayu Amar, I feel achad asr yamashahu. Even eleven and yamashahu. 
And of Huna Bred Yeshua, Amar Filu Shivu Mashahu, even seven in a Mashahu. There's your, your last one, seven in a Mashahu. Let's see Rashi on that last point. You have to go down, 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 down. Shevu Mashahu, parallel to the Tais of Zama Shmuel. Shevu Mashahu, the Sphere like Hirab, Dumla Kamon, Sulam Zokif Mimayit. A Sulam Zokif, if you stand it up straight, will be Mimayit. The Zokif lay Magila, Pafes Mikimul, the Reisha Kaisel. Guys, look at the picture. You see the seven? As long as seven a Mashahu, Rav holds that even if the ladder is not inclined, even the ladder goes straight up, it's it's Mamayat. All I need is to be Mamayat of 10. If but I need I need my ladder to get to the top of the wall. So if my lab, ladder is seven a mashahu, why do we say? Hesh, seven a mashahu, why do we say? Lovud. There you're gonna say love it, right? So it's a straight seven, a little bit closer, and there's your love it right there. Good. Very good smack. Amarav, Sulam Zakif Mimayat. Sulam Zakif is Mimayat. If you have a straight ladder going straight up, it's, it's Mimayat. You don't need any angles. It goes up, it's Mimayat. Gemara, Vlayadana, my time. I learned it, but I don't know the reason. Sama Shmuel, Vlayada, Abba. Rab's name is Abba Aricha. You don't know, you don't know it. Time with the Honol Samidi. The reason for this, Nidi, I have it, Staba. Agabi, it's Staba. Maybe it's perhaps like the slab on top of the slab. So I don't, I didn't, I didn't get this, the the sushtel. the slab, the slab I get. We, we we did the slab yesterday, right? I don't see the sushtel between this and a straight. I mean, straight seems to be very hard to get up. I, I I'm not exactly sure what the, the sushtel is over here. Rashi says shehemuchuvonos barminalel demimayik. They they are muchuvonos. They are exactly together. I mean, they don't. They seem to be protruding from the wall. You have to step on it. But in other words, over here, guys. Here's what we're saying. We're saying the following. This is four. This is not four, but this is three. So in other words, I need this one to be connected to the ground, right? In other words, it's not shot. I can step on this and go up, and this is memayit. The only reason that this is memayit, it's got the width. But there's no connectivity. The connectivity is because this and this are within three tefakim of each other. I'm gonna say love it. So that somehow is the same as this. I guess it's connected to the ground. I don't know. I really I don't know. I, I don't know the sushtel. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Says the Gemara Vaita. I'm a rabba. I'm rafkia. The column shape of bubble ain't its from keva. But the column of bubble, the pine trees of bubble when they're cut. And you put them down against the wall. They don't. They they don't need a cat. They don't. They uh. They don't need to be kaveh, you know, right? In other words, no one's taking them on Shabbos. My time, huh? Kvedim kaveson. Kvedon their their weight. Since they're very heavy, no one's going to move them. Now you might ask the muktzah. The chayra. What about muktzah? Says Rashi. Rashi says, even though you can carry them, the fur is clear, they would use them as seats. So since they're ready to sit upon, they're not muktza. But since they're very heavy, no one's going to move them. So these, the column of Babel, they will be a mayat. They will, they, will, they will be a mayat. They would go ahead and diminish the distance of 10. But Right. The slumbers of volume don't have to be connected. To, why, why not? My time of Kfeid and Kaivasan, because they're heavy. Mandi Amma Sulamis calls you came to call him. Mandi Amma to call him Abba Sulamis Loi, because you could, you, 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 because you move Sulamis, so they're not. So the Sulam, he would disagree. Boy, Minor of Yosef Miraba. Sulamikan, the Sulamikan, the Kashem Ensa. Here you go, picture number 45. In order to get four, you have straw in between. So you have this one and this one. They don't sell. They themselves, without the straw, do not have the width of a pesach. They even without the straw do not have the width of a pesach. Now, Amalei ain't kafa regal oil of right? The, a person can't walk up on this, so it's not good. It's not considered a meal. However, 
Koshimikan, the Koshimikan, and you have uh, uh, in the middle, you have a sulam. Koshimikan, the Koshimikan. Notice these are Yishtur over Yishtur over here. This would work, right? Vesulam v'em samahu amalei harikafa regal oil behem. So this would be a good miyat, but this would not, right? Because again, the assumption is it's going to go up the middle, guys, right? So over here, it will be considered a, a good, a, 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 the ladder doesn't have the width unless you add the sides. Since I can use it, these are considered additions. Over here, since I can't use the middle, it's not going to, it's not going to work. Amalei Harry Kafaregel Urban, Amit Beis. You're going ahead. You're being chokok lahashlem to ten. You're going ahead. Okay. So you chokok, you went ahead, and you hollowed this out in the kaisel. So how much do you need to hollow out? You need to hollow out up to ten. That's what you need to ten spot. Says the Gemara, Chokak Lahashan Makaisel Bakama, Amalei Basara. Rashi, Chokak Lahashan Makaisel, Sulam Tsar, you have a, a Sulam that's thin, the Chokak Bakaisel Mikano Mikan, and you chisel out the sides of the wall, Kineged Chavke a Sulam, opposite the rungs of the ladder, Lahashlam Roychvay Bedalit. So, fellas, the reason why you have to go up to here is you won't have the shear of four unless you have, we be mitzarif, we're, we're combining the hollowed out area with the actual ladder. So if I combine this together, it's four. What's the shear we need to be mayat? 10 by four, therefore. However, if you go ahead and have no ladder and you wanna walk up the rungs over here, then you're gonna to have to go up the whole length of the wall. Then in that case, you're going to have to go up the whole length of the wall. See, up the whole length of the wall. The Gemara wants to know the difference. Says the Gemara, um, In other words, there's no ladder, but you're going to use the rungs, the, the hollowed out part. The whole, the whole thing. Over there, by when there's a, a hasam, when there is a ladder, that reaches the top of the wall, it's easy to go up there. But so you, all you have to do is create 10 by four. Mashenkin over here, there's no ladder. You have to be able to get up the whole wall and therefore you have to have it, you know, the whole the whole length of the wall. What happens if you made an Elon into a Sula? Picture 50. Now we know on Shabbos, you're not allowed to go and use a tree, right? But for an Ariv, there was an opinion Rebbe that said since that using a tree is a shvus and and uh, anything that's bishum shvus is kind of ben ashmashes. So we have the following shaila. Asul the ilan sulam mahu tiboy le Rebbe tiboy le Rabbanon. Now Rebbe again Rebbe is the one who said that you could put it in a tree tiboy le Rebbe. Ad kan le kamer Rebbe hasam kol da bishum bishum shvus le gazul ben ashmashes hani mili ben ashmashes. But something that's going to be, in other words, I only need my Erev Deir Ben Hashmashas. Fellas, I only need my Erev Deir Ben Hashmashas. Remember the mission we said, if it's eaten up after Ben Hashmashas, you still have your Erev. I only need Deir Ben Hashmashas. But over here, I need it here the whole day. So maybe, when does Rebbe say, Dova Al Shvus is, 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 is Mutab? That's only when you need Ben Hashmashas. But when it extends the rest of the day, then not, well, maybe there's no difference. So that's a Shiloh according to, to Rebbe, who says that, you know, by Erev, that Ben Hashmashas, you would be Koina. By Dilma, Fulu Rabbanon, Pischahu, Ba'aryahu, the Rabbi Aleha. What's the reason, guys, in physical Mitzvahs, right? Physically, is this a good Pesach? In other words, it's a 10 by 4. Yeah, 
Can I use it to get over the wall? Yeah. So it's a physical Pesach, right? Physically, it's a Pesach. I, I can't use it. That's like a piece of, if you have a lion that's guarding something, that's something he's guarding. Let's say he's guarding a safe. It doesn't change the safe. It makes it unsafe to get the safe. The safe is a safe. If a lion is guarding guarding your, your prized jewels, your prized jewels are your prized jewels. You just can't get to them. So over here also, it's not shot that this is not a Pesach. That it is a Pesach. I, I can't use it. That's because a lion is guarding it. But it, a Pesach it is. So that that I can't use it halachically doesn't stop it from being considered like an open bore. So that, that's a way to view it. In other words, to separate the physical metzias from the halacha, right? The halacha is I can't use it. I can't be mishamish with an Elon. Who cares? I have to have a shame Pesach. This tree is 10 by 4 and I can get over the wall. That's a Pesach. So maybe, so which way is it? Asu al-Ashera Sulam. What happens if you made an Ashera into a Sulam? An Ashera is a tree that was deemed of Avayda Zara. So asu al Mahu. Tiboyil Rav Yehuda. Tiboyil Rav Rabbanon. Okay, now. We had a Shaila earlier in the Masechta. Can you go ahead and use the kind of by a grave? We said a grave is Asa Bahana. We also said, fellas, that mitzvah lav lahenis nitnu. So if I I only needed the grave for Ben Hashmashis and I couldn't give a hoot what happens to the Erev afterwards, because I don't intend on eating it, for all intents and purposes, I have a good Erev. Als Issa Hana, I'm not having Hana, because mitzvah lav lahenis nitnu. After the mitzvah is done, ben ashmashes, I don't care what happens to it. So that that it's being watched by the by the grave, mach it doesn't make a difference to me. That was the machloikas of Yehuda and the Rabbanon previously. Now we're applying it to here. So now, an asherah is similar to a grave. They're both us the bana. Now, tiboy la Yehuda, tiboy la Rabbanon, tiboy la Yehuda. I can't let come Yehuda hasam the mutal liknois bias be sureyna. It's mutter to go ahead and be kaina your erev tchum to get to your house. With Israel, no, Ella Hassam, Hassam, the Basa Kanale Erev, like Nikolai Delinta. Only there where you didn't care. After you were kind of Shvisa, you don't need it being watched anymore. I do my feel of Rabban who say you do care. Pischahu, the Asher is a Pesach. The Arya, the Rabbi Allaha, and the same problem the Torah says, you can't, it's awesome, I know, but it's a physical Pesach. Amale. So, 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 who said to who? Boy, mine, Rabbi Yosef, me Rabba. So, Rabba said to Rabbi Yosef, Elon Mutter, the tree is Mutter, the Ashera Sura. Fred the Gomorrah, Maskal, or Pista, other Rabba. Elon is the Shvus Goyim law, she's the Shabbos Goyim law, Nitzar. Asherish is a davar acher goyim law. Loy nitzar. In mashma over here by a tree, you can't be mshamish be elon. It's the isa shabbos that's causing it. By the asher, it's the isa by the zara. So if you're going to say the Indian erevin, which is a shabbos to get in, it's more mistaber to say that it's an elon that's going to aser than an asher that's going to aser. It menami ki aser rav and amar v'lozer v'mi lo amar rav abo amar v'yachnon. Anything that the Isser Shabbos causes it is Asa, such as this tree. And Kol She Isser Davarach Goyim Loi would be Muta, would be permitted. Okay. The Ashera happens to be what a tree also. However, I guess that the Isser of the Ashera is not the tree part, it's the what? It's the, it's the Ashera part. So we have Machloikis. Rav Nachman by Yitzchak, Rav Nachman by Yitzchak, Ilan plucked the Rebbe for Rebbe Sheira. So we have three sheetas. One says Ilan's Muta, one says Ilan's Zasa, and one says Ilan's a Machloikis Rebbe Rabbanan. Sheira. One says Asher is Zasa, one says Asher is Muta, and one says Asher is plucked the Rebbe Yehuda for Rabbanan. Excuse me.
Same halacha, same shaila, same gemara. However, the reverse. You have a ditch. Now, this ditch is four. It's got to be four. Guys, in the case of the previous case, four was only using the top. It didn't have to be the elastic. It didn't have to be 10 by four. Four was only the shaila about being a separate rishos. Over here, it has to be four because if it's less than four, a person can walk over it. So here, you have a chritz that is 10 tfachim deep and, and four tfachim wide. It, it's going to make this two separate rishos and you won't be able to go ahead and make an air together. Moe, if you fill, fill it up with this also, if you fill it up with Tevin, fodder for an animal, then again, it's not going to be, it's, you won't be able to make an air together. However, if you fill it up with dirt, you're going to have to make an air together, and then we're going to have the case of putting a board over it. So let's see what we got. Okay, let's see what we got. Chrit Shebein Beis Chatzeros, you have a ditch that is between two chatzeros. Omik yud v'roichiv dalid. They're ten deep and four wide. Ma'arvim shnayim ve'im ma'arvim echod. You have to keep separate separate chatzeros. They can't combine together because they have a partition. Partition just happens to be a ditch. Afilu malei kashay teven. You still can't make it air together because that's going to be taken away to be eaten by animals. Malei offer it's soiris. However, if it's full of dirt, and pebbles, then ma'arvin echad ve'im arvin shnayim. You'd have to make one eriv and not two because it's not separate anymore. It's considered one rishus. Nasal of neser. If you go ahead and put a, a board, sherochiv arbat fachim, you created a pesach. The chain base. Okay, that, so that's the din of what of that's the din of the chutzer. Now there's another din of gizutrois. Well, let's see the case of Gusu Choice. There you go. Two balconies, right? Two balconies. Says says the Gemara. Vachem beis Gushroy zu keneged zu ma'arvin shnayim. You can go ahead, what? And they're separate. You can't make an erev together. Vim rotsu ma'arvin echad. What? Pachas mikan ma'arvin shnayim ve'im ma'arvin echad. So if you have, again, what's the case? Rashi says, Nisarim bolten mispas tikro ha'oli, el rishos ha'ravin, v'korim lo'i, whatever, v'im yeshlan zu etzel zu b'shtei ha'liyoy, shel shnei diurim, v'nosa nesa roch of dalid k'min gesher, you put this, then what? Havinami Pesach. Then you can go ahead, what? It's a Pesach, and you can make an air together. Pachas mikan, if it's less than that, then you make it separately and you can't make it together. And that would be the that would be the difference. Okay, I wish everyone a good evening. Thank you for listening. Shkarech. Have a good night. Night, Lace. Shkarech. You're welcome. Bye, bye, bye.